Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Class Farm and Brewery. All right, so we have the crops have grown quite well. Uh, it's almost fall. I think we've got like a day or two more of summer left. And I think these are not, are these ready to harvest yet? No, they're still in the growing state. Uh, but it's looking good. we got a couple dead ones here. There's some withering going on. But in general, the crops look really good. Um, that's one of the things with seasons that I'm finding out. Um, that uh, the stuff doesn't grow forever. <laughs> There's sections that die. Uh, I've tried to keep up with the weeds. I think we've got them all for now. I don't think they'll grow back. Um, once again, the, the other strategy would be to spray the whole field. Uh, I did buy a, and probably silly me, but I did end up buying a side by side because, or like a UTV, uh, because I, it's faster. <laughs> I wanted to drive something around that was a little more fun to drive. Um, the truck's okay, but it's more of a tractor than a truck, really. So this thing flies, and we're going to go take a look. I wanted to see, there's a couple fields that are for sale. Uh, there's t exactly two that have wheat and barley on them that could maybe supplement our fields. The big fields are so expensive, and that's, you know, I can't really afford to buy another huge field until maybe after this harvest. I'd like to buy field number two and split it half barley, half wheat. Um, but, and I apologize, all of a sudden, man, like tonight, I just went nasal all of a sudden. Like, I've been fine all day. It's a super high pollen count today, though, so it's kind of hitting me. You can hear it in my chest, too. Um, stupid freaking pollen. But our wheat and barley is looking good. Um, so we got that going on for us. I could drive this. I can, really. Oh, no. I was. This is the one I was looking at. Looks like they've already gotten to it. And it's too small anyway. Like, I couldn't. I don't think I could use this. Um, that's too small. So, oh, well, whatever. It wasn't going to work anyway. The other one's up on the other side of the map. But if this one's harvested already, I almost can guarantee that that one will be, too. Seventy miles per hour. Well, the good news is I'm only going sixty. Holy crap! I think those might be kilometers. We're way speeding. So we'll go take a look at this other field and see what the dealio is, because I can afford it. Um, I think it's like it's like seventy thousand or eighty thousand. Two problems with it. One, it's whoa, it's pretty far away. Uh, and two, it's, well, the roads are kind of narrow. We'd have to get our harvester and all that stuff, you know, over there. And that's kind of a pain in the patushki. But it's a nice day for a drive, so let's go take a look. Whoa. This thing, this thing don't handle so good. Handle not nice. I realize they put the brewery on the map in a different place than I put it. If you look on the map, you can see back behind us, that was the brewery. It's like an empty spot now. But you can actually put it, they were expecting you to put it there. I flew in the face of that and put it in my own spot. <laughs> the other field's just up here ahead. Oh. <laughs> Jump the tracks. Yeehaw! <laughs> Is it up ahead? Oh, man, where is this place? I 
Um, uh, maybe they harvested it already again. Wow, they get done early, but no, this would not have worked. How the heck are you supposed to get a harvester in there? I mean, I guess it would fit. That's really weird. Why do they have that fenced off like that? That's bizarre. I would almost eliminate this field and put a business in here. Okay, so that's a no-go. All right, well, my idea was a failure. Let's head back to the farm where we will. I'm going to start speeding up time here. We're going to whittle away the days. I've done the best I could with weeding and keeping the weeds out. Um, but I think that uh, there probably will be a couple weeds. Now that the crops have grown all the way, it's hard to see them. Oh, look at all these industries. It's pretty cool. Whoa, go hit the wall. I knew it from the beginning. You put an arrow through my heart. Sorry. For some reason, a rat is going through my head. Round and round. It was in, in the other video I did. I It was still going through my head. There's the dealership. So anyway, I love the Mahindra. It's a little dangerous the way that I drive it. But I'm doing good. Doing great. Haven't, I haven't died yet. Definitely not wearing my seatbelt. Fun to get around. All right, so that's about that. So we're going to let these crops continue to grow uh, a couple more days here, but they'll be ready really soon for harvest. That means we can get production underway. Oh, I should show you this. So I was, and oh my gosh, these water tanks over at the, the malts facility and the malts facility and the uh, brewery, whoa, it takes so much water. I, I literally put maybe like 18 loads of water into each of these, and they're not even halfway full. So the brewery... Uh, I checked the status to see what was going on, and we definitely are ready to get going here. Um, but I'll show you because you guys haven't seen this. So in the preparation for our season here, we have the water is filled up to there. I mean, that's I just so many loads. That, that's not even halfway full. Yeah. Uh, but we got that in there. And we could check into this part of the facility. We've got plenty of hops. I don't think we should, we can even, we don't really even, I don't think need to grow hops next year because we've got so many and we're going to have more. Um, we've got a decent amount of malts, got lots of water, and we've got lots of pallets. Um, we just need wheat. Now on this side, we're not going to be using the wisen yet. We're going to use, we're going to put the barley in and run that all the way through until we run out of barley. Um. Uh, because we may need more malt. So if we need more malts, then I'm going to um, use the wheat to make malt. And then we'll, uh, we'll come back. And whatever wheat's left over, we'll split it up between the malts facility and that. This is why I want more fields, because I want to be able to produce more crops. And then just, just bring it over as we need it. Um, But you can see here we have uh, Gerst is going to be our, uh, what do you call that stuff? Uh, <laughs> barley. So Gerst is barley, and this is our malt storage over here. There's all the malts. And we have tons of pallets already made. Um, we should be good there. Lots and lots of pallets. And then next door, we also have more. We could check that too, but the malts facility also has pallets. Um, yeah, we might need some more malts. Yeah, it's there's tons of stuff over here. So, so we're ready. We're ready, and 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 we're ready, Freddy. Ready to make the booze. As you guys know, I don't drink at all, so this stuff is funny to me.
And since we got that distribution deal, we've got our Crone Profi liner ready to go. We'll load that up with uh, beer and then deliver it around Europe. Hollandish beer. <laughs> I thought Germany was known for beer, but we're in Holland. All right, so we're home. Sun's going down. Let's take a couple more days, and we're going to be in winter, or I mean in fall, and it'll be time to harvest. All right, guys, so I will see you tomorrow. And so autumn has arrived. And you can see here the crops are showing, they should be showing that they're ready for harvest. Yep. I'm going to do the barley first. Um, that's our wheat field. We're going to go down. The barley field's our biggest field. We're going to do that first uh, and get the barley under processing. Um, so let's see. What do we need? We're going to need our harvester of sorrow. And we will languish over it. Uh, harvester of sorrow. Poor Jason Newstead. <laughs> Used and abused. All right. Ah, no. <laughs> I've got the right away, you moron. Freaking idiot. Stupid arse drivers. My dog is looking at me like, what just happened? Oh my God. I wish you guys could see his face. He's looking at me totally like, did I just get yelled at? Oh, uh, the other night, man, I was walking him and this, uh, this person let their dog out the front. Like across the street. And he flipped his wig because he's, you know, a border collie. So he gets super excited about every little thing. And uh, I went the longest way possible to get here. And uh, he totally, like, pulled my my left arm, like, out of the socket. I mean, it hurt so bad. And I screamed at him. I was like, grow it! And uh, just that's all I said. I didn't anything more. I didn't yell at him or kick him or anything like that. I just, I just yelled his name once when he did it. And he was so submissive, like, for the rest of the night. He was like... Just like like sitting next to me, like his little ears back, like wagging his tail, like are we friends again? Are we friends? And of course I was. I was like super nice to him. I was just like, you stinker! Like oh man, it hurts so bad. I was like I'm sorry, daddy. Like he walked next to me the whole way home. He didn't like pull or anything. He just stayed right next to me. And I was like Gromit, I didn't mean to scare you. Like I'm sorry. Like I totally f scared him. You know. That border collie, you know what? They're they are uh, no nope, wrong way. Shizzle sticks. They are uh, pretty energetic and fairly aggressive. That's you know he's gonna love the farm. Uh, he he really out of all the dogs that I own, like between me and Moni, you know Gypsy could care less. She just lays around all day. Um, Elfie is small, so he's pretty happy even just inside because he's got room to run around. Gromit, he's big, and he needs he needs that, like, freedom. And that's just the breed. I mean, Border Collies do need that. He's not a full Border Collie. He's also part lab. See, there's some there's some places where the field did not grow well. I see some weeds out there, too. Oh, well. We did a lot of weeding. Uh... How am I going to do this without getting this jammed up? Block traffic. Sorry.
and we'll get the ends of the fields harvested here. I'm just going to pull this in. Um, I forget what the button is to make it uh, do a straw swath. No, that's the blinker. There we go. It's a uh, left bumper right on the direction path. Meantime, let's pull this out of the way so we don't block any traffic. <laughs> Crap! <laughs> Stupid trailer. Uh. No, that's no good. Dang it! Nope, that's not going to work either. <laughs> I had to edit there, sorry. And it came out sounding like I said something else, which is not what I was saying. <laughs> but it could be misconstrued as a racial slur, which it was not. Or I guess it's not. But yeah, I guess it is racial. I don't know. Whatever. We fixed it. It's fixed. Who cares? And it was not meant to be. I, I just said it wrong. Arg. And we're going to sell the bales this year. We might as well make some money off of the, uh, now that we have a baler, and it's a non-stop round baler, we might as well just use it sell it because it's money it's free money 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 I don't know if you guys saw that there was a weird dead spot where it did not harvest the wheat I gotta learn that song again I used to know how to play that on guitar I don't know how he could, he was able to, or is able to sing some, like play some pretty intricate stuff while he's singing. That is quite a feat. It's hard to do that. We're going to backfill. There we go. And we'll run down, and then we'll do the same thing on the other end, and then we'll let the, the worker take over. Look at all the barley we're getting already. This is going to be a good crop. The downside is we're going to have to be constantly un uh, unloading this thing. Uh, so I'm going to need to get our uh, Zerion out and available, and then the semi-truck needs to come down to the field too because obviously we need to unload onto that. So... We've got our work cut out for us. I think we'll have the whole farm far harvested in the day, though. Oh, yeah, that all withered. Look at that. And you uh, you will have that from time to time. So crops do wither and die.
We have a blinker on somewhere. I think I just turned it off. Oh my gosh. Someone's selling, they have a a, a can, like a five gallon container of gas, and they're like $500. <sighs> so stupid. It's a joke, obviously. We don't really, we haven't had the shortage like other people have. But, uh,. It's definitely hit, you know, the southern part of the country. I guess they're already, they've got the pipeline back up and working again, I guess, so they fixed it. But it's pretty scary how quickly things turn to chaos and how stupid people are. Seriously. Like, they all went out and, like, bought as much gas as they... So I saw a video of some lady, like, putting gasoline into, like, a plastic bag. And, of course, it's dumping all over the place because she's an idiot. Whoops. Miss some. Uh, you know I don't put up with that, right? <laughs> I've got to collect it all. Every ounce of barley. Yep, and we're going to fill up here before we even get down to the end of the field. So we'll put that pipey out. We'll shut it down for now. Look at that. It's so full. <laughs> what a cool har I love this harvester. This is my favorite harvester in the game so far. It's just so cool looking. All right. I need to find. Hold on. All right. I wonder if I have follow me installed. I probably do. Whoa. Oh, that picked it right up. Look at that. Yes, we do. I'm going to go the long way because I don't want to run over my own crops. That is a very real possibility. Try to make it through here without getting the truck. Can the truck make it through without getting tangled on the buildings? That's, that's the other challenge is getting the truck to follow me. Uh, exactly. <sighs> Whoa. Shoes and socks. Lost it a little bit there. Let's see if the truck also loses it in the same spot. No, he's... Yep. Whoa. <laughs> he's like... Err. Oh, follow me. You're such a great mod and yet still lacking in substance. <laughs> All right. All right. So we're going to load this bad boy and we've got the scan yeah well that was lovely good job there worker Dude. Yeah. Okay. Well, that happened. <laughs> it's been one of those days on the farm. Nope. Nope. Stop. I pressed higher worker by mistake. I'm not ready yet.
10 o'clock in the morning, but it looks dark out. Wonder how our weather is going to be. It looks slightly overcast today, but I just don't want it to rain. We gotta get this. We need to get this drop before it disintegrates. Once again, the way the game works is if stuff sits out too long, it'll end up getting ruined. I forgot to check. The soil shouldn't be too wet because it's been dry. Yeah, it looks, it's not. It should tell us if it's too wet, but. two more passes and then we'll be able to let this guy go. And I pretty much do this on all the fields. Now the hop field I think we're going to have to just do by hand. It's such an odd shape and it's small enough that we'll get it done pretty quick. So I may continue just to grow. Like I was talking about changing things up a little bit but I may continue just to grow things the way that they are. That field would be really nice wouldn't it? Next door or I don't know. Field number two looks nice too. But I would like to buy one of these and split it like half and half wheat, half barley. Or maybe just do wheat. Because it seems like you need wheat for malts and you need wheat for, you know, beer. You can use it for both. So we can have some barley for the beer that comes in the canister and or cans. And then wheat for the, I think they use wheat for the, uh, what do you call those, like the kegs. So the bottled beer is, is barley and then the, the uh, keg beer is wheat. So if we just got another field that made wheat, that should be plenty. <laughs> okay. So now we're drifting back across the field. So I can't believe it. We're, we've made it through two years on this map. And this farm is actually pretty dang profitable. That's the one thing that shocked me. An Arthur farm that's profitable. You know why it's profitable? Because we started with all the equipment that we needed. <laughs> um, that's, that's why we're profitable. Uh, we didn't have to buy tons and tons of equipment. But Alpine farm, you know, I kind of did that from scratch. Uh, not really from scratch. That is one thing I still need to do. Probably when FS21 comes or 22 comes out, uh, I will do a from scratch farm, like just me and like whatever finances they start you with. And we'll build it from the ground up and stick with it, hopefully for a long time. I'm pretty bad at dumping farms. I am known for that. I need to get better at not dumping my farms off. Actually, before we do this, let's... Uh, Try to find the. <laughs> this is the problem with having too many vehicles. Uh. The hope is that this harvester can get down the field in one pass and then back up the field. I don't know. Because this this hopper gets 50% full with every, with every pass. So we're going to have some breaks in the harvest because I'm going to have to unload this and it's going to get pretty messy. 
or not? Wait, 94%. Oh, because the harvester wasn't full. A full harvester equals 54%, but we, did, we got it before it was full. So, All right, so here we go. We're going to go ahead and hire a worker to finish the rest of the field off. Go to it. And meanwhile, we'll take this over here. Whoa. The Remoke 3300 throwing its weight around a little bit. And we'll just leave it open. And we're going to load this into the Griffin. Into our skin. Yeah. I'm going to bash it into this trailer. I'm terrible with these things, man. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sorry. 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 Yep. Okay. And we're going to put our speedometer down. It's the second notch of six. We'll just go down with the harvester and back and forth and keep unloading him as he goes. My hope is that he can make it all the way down the field and back at like and get turned around without having to be unloaded. We'll just unload him on every down pass. I'm hoping that's what happens. Looks fine. Like we're not even close to being full yet, so we should be fine. This joystick's starting to break. Our worker, she's doing a good job. Good job, worker. Pardon me. I hope we're not in her way. I don't think we're going to be. Yeah, she should be fine. I think if we ride down, eh, yeah, pretty much. So we just follow the stripe. We're good. Good tag team effort. Tis the season. Pollen counts are up. Arthur is sneezing. And I'm on some fairly strong antihistamines, but it ain't going to help. <laughs> it doesn't matter. No matter what I do, my allergies are just bad always. Once again, this episode is brought to you by Revoke Ninja by Star Up. My sponsor. I haven't heard from them in a while. Hopefully they'll be in the next version of the game. They've got so much cool equipment.
All right, so we'll do one more pass, and then we're going to call this an episode. I'm going to keep harvesting. I'll catch up with you when, we, when we're done with this field. Actually, before that, I'll catch up with you when we go to start delivering this stuff to the brewery because we'll get the brewery started too. Once once I deliver the hot, the uh, the barley, it's going to start producing. So we'll get as much beer made as possible. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you have enjoyed this episode. I've definitely had fun making it. And uh, I will see you guys next time on Farm Sim 19, the class farm and brewery. Have a great night. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up always help. Be safe out there, guys. Don't hoard gas. <laughs> let's, not, let's not create problems where we don't need them. It's already been a hard enough year as it is. Let's move on. And pretend like we're not going to have massive struggles forever. All right, guys. Have a good night. Bye.